everyone welcome back to my channel um please like share and subscribe to the channel and yeah definitely donate join the channel so like yeah we grow together and really change the world okay today let's talk about salt sodium salt guys like a whole lot of us use salt to season our food you know like tasty i mean and all that but to be honest like one out of three people from the age of 15 years old in south africa has this issue about hypertension because of this salt issue a whole lot of people use salt to season their food and all that i mean there's nothing wrong with that but like salt is really not ideal for us to really use over dosily in our food you know like a whole lot of people will season their gravy season the meat season everything even their pup you know i don't eat pup anymore anyway because like i feel so heavy after eating pup you know that i don't like pup it's just puppy <laughs> okay back to the topic like salt can really cause you hypertension and all that and hypertension is one of the leading illnesses illnesses in the world like especially here in south africa really like everywhere it causes you to like strokes and all those um high blood pressure and so i know it's really not my place you know so like if, it, if you got hypertension it really won't show the symptoms of like yo i'm on my way here am i like Here's me, high blood, like, no, like, heart diseases and all that, like, some of these things, they don't show up until you really have this pain in your heart, you're like, ah, oh, maybe that's a high blood pressure, or you get those dizzy spells, you know, or maybe you get to have, like, strokes and, and all that, you know, like, you know when you have strokes, you have these dizzy spells, and then you feel like you are falling, and where are you gonna fall, it's like you're gonna fall on that. I think that's the one that's gonna be affected most because yeah it's just that you know like it's important for us to use herbs instead of salt in our food you know like you can squeeze the lemon in if you want to do your fish and all that put some ginger and yeah I really use some herbs some roots and try and make your own ketchup if you can because so these salad dressings are full of salt and the oils we really don't want to use in our bodies you know i mean like our bodies can only take that much but if you keep on feeding it stuff that it really doesn't like it's gonna disappoint you in the long run you know like yeah you're gonna have high hypertension uh strokes heart diseases and all that obesity like it's really really not a nice thing to have with your body like let's avoid things that when we are using especially food like if you know you this is your favorite meal ever but after you eat it your heart beats super fast like yo what did i eat I'm like no that doesn't really take you well you know whatever you eat and it affects your heart it really doesn't take you well so like yeah let's watch our salt intake because with salt guys like your salt is very dangerous for human beings but you know really a really 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 is so if you want to use tenderizers for your meat or like taste enhancers yeah like and with some salt yeah it's really better because even popcorns like you really don't have to use salt on popcorns because it's like food tastes naturally sweet on their own you know food are nice on their own like i believe that if you, if you put salt on your food more often like you really taste the salt not the food so like a whole lot of people go around and be like hey i don't taste this nice uh meal like please bring me the salt so i can taste it nicely and it's really not about eating the salt like you have to really enjoy your meal you know because you can't really put salt in everything you do like they want in whatever you eat like yo i know that's gonna really cause damage to you a lot because like it keeps your body dehydrated and you really don't want to be dehydrated at all with your body, you know? Like if you eat salt, like, and after a while you're gonna have 
after the food digests and all that, you know, Tami, I mean, I know one thing for sure that after we eat, we don't have to right away drink water because saliva has its own way of digesting food in the tummy. And yeah, maybe after an hour or so, you can have your water to wash everything down, you know? Like, if you're gonna have salt, like, it's gonna make your body dehydrated. I mean, like, a whole lot of people, especially after they are uh, from pudding and all that, like, after having alcohol, like, alcohol is one of the things that really makes your body really, really, really dehydrated. And if you, gonna have alcohol that makes your body dehydrated and you're probably gonna meet up with friends for braying and all that and still use salt on your food I mean like in the morning like the head is pounding like you don't know what happened and all that like, water let's eat water it's better if you go to sleep knowing that yeah you're from a rough night have a glass of water and yeah go to sleep rehydrate your body you know really really rehydrate your body i mean isn't it better to wake up in a nice good body with no headaches in the morning yeah yeah in case you're doing you're gonna go to work in the morning you don't have to have this hangover faces and all that you know it's not really nice to have a hangover face and people will be like hey man we can special this guy is forever drinking and smelling alcohol and all that and whatnot but of course people are there to comment on whatever they want to comment on you know as long as they don't get to judge you because with people's comments sometimes they direct us and lead us in the right direction you know yeah so like i know i i, I was never really stubborn um, from listening to people's advices not like I'm saying people should take people's advices, but like opinion, someone's opinion is someone's opinion, guys, you know. Rather, you live your life the way you want to live your life. I mean, like, even going to a doctor, they will tell you, no, have a first opinion, and then you're going to get the second opinion, and the third opinion also, right? Yeah, like, that's how I take it with people's advices. I don't really listen to what they have to say, like, in that in depth emotion like it's the end of the world like i have to really make a decision that my life depends on it like that like no i weigh decisions and then um after that yeah i take the best decision for myself not somebody else's opinion or advice so if somebody says nah so salt is for men men must supposed to salt up their food and all that and then you go down with that like oh no 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 it's gonna go down well for you right yeah i like like a whole lot of hacks man with the salt issue like you get to be obese like overweight because like we really eat the salt not the food we can't really taste the pumpkin yeah like wouldn't be nice if you wanna just season your pumpkin with ginger or whatever seasoning you want to like not sugar or anything we'll probably use honey like homemade herbs you know like not really homemade herbs 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 like you know they sell from the shops yeah so guys yeah really really let's watch out for the salt like a whole lot of our parents have issues with hypertension you know they drink pills and all that and we should learn from that you know we should learn from that so we build a better world you know